Okay. Before we talk about it, uh, the course contents, let us look at how we actually touch uh, the environments, how we interact with the environments in order to understand and uh, haptics little more, we will look at how we are interacting with the environments. We have the hands when we touch it, because we touch there are some contact forces are developed and this contact forces are sensed by the, the sensors in our skin and the sensor convey the tactile and kinesthetic information to the brain and the brain process this information and then ask the muscle to move or do, do certain things and then muscle actually moves and therefore, we are moving the hands, therefore, we are manipulating the objects. This is a very rough, uh, very crude idea of what is happening in the haptics. Let us expand it little uh, further, for example, I want to expand what is happening between and uh, uh, contacting force and uh, what is happening over here. Just this alone, we will take it and then expand it further. In a little detail one, the stimulus is coming over here, all this contact forces, right. Then our uh, receptors or sensors in the skin is converting that contact forces into neural signals, right? Neural code, electrical impulses it is generating. That electrical impulses is conveyed to the CNS, and then CNS we have the perception, and then that perception leads to cognition and then cognition we have once we have the cognition we do the motor planning and then once we do the motor planning we lost the motor system to move it and the motor system moves the hands and then action is on the environment right. The same thing as what we have seen in the previous slide it is the same thing ok. Now, each stage is a specialized course available. For example, how this neural coding coming from the sensors is converted into perception, there is a separate uh, course called uh, psychophysics. I am offering a course on psychophysics this semester, we talk about only this stage of the haptics. Okay. So, the sensation part alone is, uh, is called the neurophysiology for psychophysics, haptics, neurophysiology is one of the very important topic that itself is a separate course and uh, uh, we are going to use one of the well known text in uh, neurophysiology and we will understand how the sensation is happening and then sensation how sensation related to perception is going to be uh, by the psychophysics. So, the cognition is slight is, uh, uh, is about the higher functions of the brain ok. Perception is you know perceiving whether there is a you know texture or not whereas, the cognition is about the memory whether I like it or not recalling it ok, learning this are the higher aspect of the brain is called the cognition ok. So, once we have a, uh, a cognition then we do the motor planning, motor planning itself is a big subject and then how motor planning is uh, executed into the motor action again there is a theory of motor action there is again a, another specialized subject. So, how motor system is working in our human body can be now as a part of the biomechanics that is again and another course which is offered in our, our uh,
department. So you can see that there are a lot of details in it. We will uh, in the part of the course we will focus on uh, neurophysiology and then psychophysics as a part of the you know, human haptics. So the haptics course is divided into human haptics and then once we understand our human haptics we may try to simulate it in a machine in a robotics or we are, we are going to design certain uh, devices and uh, that part of the haptics is called the machine haptics. Not only design the ha machines but also we need to write softwares in order to give you this experience improve the experience of touch. So, give you a uh, experience of touch in the virtual reality okay. that part of the haptics is called the computer haptics. So, we will have the human haptics, machine haptics and uh, computer haptics. These are the three aspects of the haptics this course will have it. So, we will spend about uh, uh, 50 percent of the time in uh, uh, human haptics, another 40 percent of the time in the machine haptics, probably another 10 percent of the time in the computer haptics.